So it's been quite a while since we last explored illustrations on dragons, so today I'm going to show you step by step on how to draw Sisu from Raya and the Last Dragon. Now you want to begin today's lesson by blocking out the basic shape using this 0.7mm mechanical pencil, but you're welcome to use whatever you'd like. So I want to start by sketching a line going across the center of the page from left to right. So I'll start on the left side, and just use these short lines to go across towards the right. Now over on the right side, let's draw another line going up and down. So we'll go up to the top, and then bring that down towards the bottom. Now I want to use these two lines to help us create a circle on the left side of our page. So from that center point, let's move up. It's going to mark off the top of our circle. Let's measure that distance from the center down towards the bottom. Now I want to do that same thing across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right. Now to create our circle, all we want to do is connect the center point of each mark with a curve. So I'm going to start with the top left and the circle doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just using this as a guide just to define the size of the skull. And just go back and just smooth this out as best we can. Now, over on the left side of our circle, let's draw a straight line going all the way up towards the top. Now, since we're drawing the side view, we want to angle the head going down. So from the center point, let's angle the head going across and then down. Let's pull this all the way up towards the top right of our circle. Now, we just want to define the length of the muzzle. So from here, we're going to step out. So right around here, it's going to slope this down and in. Now let's just pull this up and in towards the bottom of our circle. From here we're going to curve the neck, going across and then down towards the bottom of our page. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw the mane going up and then down towards the right. So we're just going to pull this up, go across and then down. Now this is just the guide for the hairs and the mane. Now I want to go back and just extend this line coming down towards the top of the muzzle and it'll step in, draw a straight line coming down the front of the eye. Let's add some shape to the eye. From this point, we're gonna go up, go across. I just wanna curve that up towards the tip, then that down and in towards that center line. From this point, we're gonna step up, angle the brow, going up and out, and then come down towards the side. Along the front of the head, we just wanna block out the horns. Let's start right here. Then it's out and then up. Then it's back down and in. Now from the bottom, draw another one. We're gonna go a little bit larger, going up toward the top, come down and then back in. Now I wanna add in the mouth line. I'm gonna start right here, angle this up toward the center line. And then right here, we're just gonna bend this up towards the eye. And on the front of the eye, I'm gonna draw an oval for the iris and pupil. Now at this stage, we have a pretty good idea of the shape of the head, so we're going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now I'm going to go back over our rough sketch and add some more detail and refine the shape. Now I'd like to start with the eye. I'm going to start by curving this around, just adding some thickness and contrast. Go up to the top of the eyelid, and then out. I'm just going to add some thickness. Starting from the front, going across and up, and we'll just fill the inside. Gonna work our way down toward the bottom of the eye. I'm just adding that point along the tear duct. Now let's go back and just trace out the iris. Just tucking that up underneath the eyelid. Draw a smaller oval in the center with a highlight along the top for the pupil. I'll fill that in. I'm just gonna lightly shade in the iris, starting off a little bit darker along the top, and it'll fade that down. Just giving it a little bit of glare along the bottom. Now we're going to go back and just add some more shape and texture to the brow. Now from here, just going to work our way out. So I'm going to start with the front of the head pulling that up towards the horn. And we can also add a little bit of texture along the way. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of fur along the front edge of the head, going up towards the horn. And we can go a little bit longer as you come up towards the top. I'm just gonna brush some of that fur across the forehead. Now I'm just adding a little bit of shape to the top, going up towards the nose. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of a fold along the top. Now 
right here. It's gonna block in the nose. Grab the nostril. And then working our way across the mouth. And I'm just gonna go a little bit thicker along the top. Also adding a little bracket. And I'm just gonna lightly add a little bit of fur shading across the cheeks. I'm gonna go back to tracing out the horn, just darkening up the contrast on the outside. And at this stage, I'm just focusing on the contours, not worried about the shadows just yet. Just gonna curl some of that fur along the top of the head and just blend that in. I'm just gonna work, lightly work our way across the inside of the hairline, going around the outside of that circle. jawline and the cheek. I'm just going to add some guides for the hair. I'm just going to wave this across along the side. And we're just blocking in the basic shape and flow of the hair. So this comes down about here. We just want to whisk that back up towards the top. And going back to the edge of the neck. Add some fur across the bottom. Now I'm going to go back and just clean up our drawing one final time before we add more shading and detail. Now I'm going to move to the side edge of my pencil. And this pencil is a two millimeter mechanical pencil. It's got a fatter tip. I'm just going to lightly brush in that fur texture. Going across the edge of the head and the hairline. I'm just going to add a little bit of texture and contrast. And so just working our way across the hair. I'm just going to lightly brush this in. Feathering that in towards the face, and then going back and just brushing out these longer contrast lines. Now at this stage, it's not important to get too detailed. I just want to capture the volume and texture. We can come back in after and add more detail. So I'm just going to fade this out right about here and just work our way back in. Now with the horns, we're going to shade in the bottom and then fade that up towards the highlight. And we're just going to shift the shadow a little bit more towards the right side.
and add the subtle details inside the horns. And we're just going to enhance our shadows with a little bit of fur texture along the inside. Now I'm just going to go back over our rough shading in the hair and just add some more details. Now as we get closer to the end, I'm just going to tighten up my shadows and add a little bit more detail. And always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Sisu from Raya and the Last Dragon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. If you have any requests, you can drop them down in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.